Welcome back to Everything Whiskey, I'm Callum. And I'm Sam. Today we're having a look at the Hellier's Road Pinot Noir finish. Um, so next one in the three of the Hellier's Road little tasters uh, we've been doing. Um, the Pinot Noir finish. This is, I think, the one I'm most excited about. Just because, like, red wine finished, uh, I just said cheese. I've been like, <laughs> yeah, I've been spending too much time at work. Um, yeah, so red wine finish generally uh, is something that I enjoy with whiskies. Um, so this one, like the previous one, uh, comes from Tasmania, mm -hmm. started in 1999, um, uses a local barley, um, and as the previous one did as well, it uses um, X. Ex bourbon cast, mm. um, and did we figure out that they're Jack Daniels? Yeah, the actual cast. We got a bit worried when doing the description because on their website they it don't says say, yeah, ex bourbon but, barrels, but, but on we whiskey did, we and dug, dug a little deeper and we oh, found whiskey. out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, ex Jack Daniel bourbon barrels is used, but then for this one in particular, it is finished for uh, an additional six months um, in European, yeah, so French oak. Pinot Noir uh, yeah. barrels. Do we know where from? Um, from Tamer Ridge or something. Pa Tamer Ridge oh, yeah. Winery, oh, yeah. which is also in Tasmania. Tasmania. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they're doing everything local, which I mean, mean makes sense. Ooh, it's like um musky almost. It's more alive. Like this is already smells way more interesting. Yeah. Um, so no chill filtration, no uh, color added. Yeah. Which is good. No age statement um, on this one. And 46.2% ABV. Mm -hmm. um, that's perfectly respectable, that amount. Um, the last one had a decent amount of kind of like flavor to it, a bit of kick behind it. Yeah, yeah. This one, I don't know, but by the smell, it's got some like salted kind of raisin, raisin notes, yeah. yeah. It's dark, really nice, dark fruit. Dark caramel as it's well. It's like a, yeah. yeah, it's like a, with sherry, but without the funk. Of I was going to say that, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, it's got the sherry fruitiness, but without that, you're like, funk of the sherry. Mm. So you get that musty, mm, kind of, yeah, deep, dark funkiness. It does have that light, delicate kind of pinot. Yeah, it's got like a like kind of sherbet, it, yeah. sherbet -y kind of note to it. But yeah, more floral. It I'd smells say. delicate though. Like it's, yeah. like, brutal warmers. Awesome. Oh. Seriously, it's opening up with raspberries a lot now, yeah, like yeah, fresh yeah. raspberries. The more I smell this, it the does, more yeah, it's yeah. opening up in small. And these are in these opening glasses yeah. as well. It, it kind of is more just opening up into, um, into yeah, like fresh yeah. raspberries. Are the normal ones age statement? What do you mean? Big as in, uh, because not this all, one. Not because of all of the little the ones other original are not. Ones, yeah. But yeah, yeah the uh, bigger version know. of the one that we are did they last age statement or are they? No, so this one isn't. They might also do. They do, uh, but they might also do an edge statement version. Just trying to find this a bottle for the thumbnail was a yeah. <laughs> I thought they just like took yeah. off the edge statement just for the small bottles, but I don't know. Yeah, no. This nose is really nice. I like it a lot. Sherbet, raspberry. Whoa. I've got like Avalua, Avalua Abanard. Ab I've got now the That's actual pronunciation. Yeah, Avalua Bernard, isn't it? We got, did we we got, we got roasted, roasted, I think, because they were... Poor Aussies, we didn't, Aussies don't know how to pronounce anything. <laughs> um, I'm getting like that, the sherry, not so much the whiskey, the sherry mm. on that, on the high proof. I'm really just getting raspberry sherbet. It's really, really nice though. Vanilla. Vanilla. A nice kind of like oaky spice to it. Yeah, like a walnut as well. I'm tasting this. Weird. Whoa. It's really waxy. You've done something weird. The waxy and like. It's nowhere near. Bitter. It's bitter. But it's got this really like intense warmth. Mm. Like kind of. Maybe it is. It's kind of like um, toasted nuts and a bit of coffee. I'm getting like this toasted, slightly bitterness, earthy nuttiness it's to it. It's a bit of earth. I feel say. like it's more. For me, it's like, you know, walnuts, so they have that bitterness to it. Mm. It's kind of like toasted walnuts. The nose is sherbet raspberry for me still, but the yeah. palate is, there's n is not there with that. It was the other Hellier's, the original single malt. It changed from palate, or nose to palate. Yeah, that was like very sweet and went to like a dark kind of rich yeah. fruit. And this has kind of done something sweet similar. Sweet sherbet to like a... Yeah, 
like a um, like an earthy, much darker, dark, yeah, spikiness to it. It's like got some spice. A little saltiness. Really, um, yeah, that salt does come through actually. It's a pepper. It's a good peppery walnutiness. Yeah. Yeah, it's walnuts for sure. It's like yeah, yeah. it's definitely like toasted walnuts. A little bit of like grape, but like it's kind of like more on the back note, on the back foot. That's vanilla and caramel. Go back to the nose. Toffee. Toffee apple. Yeah, now yeah. As well. It's like the same notes but it's just switching kind of into something else, I don't know. Yeah, no that I reckon the red comes through more on the nose. More on the nose, but I it's guess like that, soft and I guess subtle. that kind of like light spice and fruit um, impact is definitely from the Pinot because it's a very different type yeah, of yeah. spice and fruity you note know, that we were getting compared to the original. Mm. <sighs> I really nice. like it. And I like that the maltiness, that multi funk, that kind of cereal grain note is yeah. really like really quite non-existent. Mm. Like, we don't know how much the actual barely. bottle costs, the full one. 110-ish? Maybe? Yeah, so it's uh, it's about a hundred bucks here uh, in Victoria, Dan Murphy's and stuff. That's so pretty. Good. That's actually pretty good. I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was more um, high end dish, like one fifty. Just like more boutique pricing, yeah. just because of Australia and their small distilleries. But no, this is this is nice. I like it. It's super interesting. I wonder if Australian whiskey starting to come down because that's a that quite a few we've had now that are a bit more. Yeah. Like when two years ago when I bought the Baker Hills, they were one fifty ish, two hundred. So, hopefully they're coming yeah. down slowly. They're like 220 bucks, weren't they? I think they see them by <laughs> But then, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, I recommend giving this one a try, even if you do what we do, it's and fun. just buy the little three pack of the uh, different ones. Ooh. Cheap as chips, like 40 bucks for three. We will three. be buying the big bottles though. We will be, like yeah, we like them, but it's just like, I saw them there on special for like 30 bucks. I was like, screw it, I needed a few more. Uh, like 10 or 20 more bucks to add on to the online order to get free shipping. I was like, screw it. Yeah. You know, so it's a good idea. But yeah, um, so far pretty impressed with Hellier's. Um, this one, Slightly my preference. Next, isn't it? Yes. And that I think could be really interesting. Hopefully, or, hopefully it's not like Bakery Hill, because that was weird. But um, I trust these guys. These guys yeah. made good stuff so far. So. Yeah. And again, sorry Bakery Hill for like... Every time we, <laughs> I really want to go back. I want to go back to it because like, like I've just got I bad. hear good things as yeah. well. People disagree with us, but also like people disagree with us about things, and we've retried them and been like, no, we still don't like them. <laughs> so that's just preference. But anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this episode of Everything Whiskey, leave us a like. If you want to see future episodes from us, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do, see you next one. Cheers. Cheers.